Okay, so uh, today I'm going to present our paper entitled Empowering uh, Flora Diversity Research in the LSUD, its role in enriching her body collection. So my co-author is Ms. Myra Langa, who is in the audience right now. As everybody deals with the changes in condition in our physical environment, which is undeniably, uh, we are experiencing it right now, Dean Stan University Das Marinas takes part in the struggle to help and preserve our biodiversity. The HUD is committed to the uh, development of our society, guided by the Dasalian values. The university envisioned to respond to the research needs of Cavite in particular and Calabarzo in general. As a matter of fact, the HUD ranks as the 50th greenest university in the world. We are ranked 10th in Asia, and we are the only university uh, in the Philippines who is part of the competition. It is uh, published in 2016 by Green Matrix Ranking. And the HUD also is the first school awarded as the Dark Green School in the Philippines. This is the research trust of the university. So we have here the green, sorry. So the green part is actually uh, the Cavite Development Research Program, which is a response to the call of the province of Cavite. And then the white part is our institutional research trust. So the program defines four interrelated cluster programs, uh, which proposes to organize quality researches in four interrelated mission areas to benefit the Cavite's quest for sustainable economic, social, and environmental development. Next, please. So this is the uh, detailed diagram of the research trust of the LHUD, wherein biodiversity conservation takes part in our research trust, together with the climate change and food safety. Okay. Biological Sciences Department under the College of Science and Computer Studies are marked to promote biodiversity conservation for sustainable development with its adequate facilities and resources such as uh, herbarium and a robust botanical garden. It encourages both faculty and students to undertake biodiversity researches. There should be Particularly, the department also was awarded by Haribon Foundation as one of the academic centers for excellence in biodiversity, together with Kamari Resort, Technological University, and uh, Mindanao State University, IIT. Uh, on that same year, 2004, the college initiated the Biodiversity Conservation Coordinating Unit which was part of the project of Haribon Foundation. Next, please. Uh, in the late 1990s, the department initiated the natural history collections. However, the collection is, I think, limited to only 300, and most of the collections lacked information such as uh, place and name of the collector, uh, date of the collection and other pertinent information that is needed for biodiversity studies. Hence, this uh, study was conducted. So these are our objectives to document the plant diversity studies of uh, the LHUD students and faculty members, to determine the proportion of voucher collections deposited to the herbarium from these studies, and to monitor the status of collections in the LHUD herbarium. So for the methodology, uh, we document the thesis works of our undergraduate as well as graduate students. So we went to the library, we were record and examined the thesis works of our uh, students. Uh, we also included the uh, researches of our faculty members uh, funded by University Research Office as well as uh, external grants. 
and uh, we determine the proportion, how many of those researches have deposited their collections in our herbarium. Next, please. Okay, so for the methodology, um, this is part of our project on the vegetation and floristic composition of uh, remaining forests in upland community. So these are my, the, the team. We also collected plants. Uh, we have here the, the uh, processing of plants, and then of course we have here the mounted specimens. So for the results, um, the undergraduate thesis started in 1993, and based on the data, a total of 1,610 titles is recorded in the uh, library. So out of the 1,610 titles, we only recorded the uh, biodiversity studies. So from 1995 to 2001, uh, there are more than 20 uh, plant researches followed by uh, invertebrates and vertebrates. From 2001 to 2005, we have more than uh, 28 plant diversity studies, again, followed by invertebrates and vertebrates. And in 2006 to 2010, there is a decrease in the number of biodiversity studies. During this time, uh, we acquired equipment for plant and molecular biology. Uh, we also acquired facilities for microbiology and histology. So most of the students shifted or uh, they transferred their focus from biodiversity studies to microbiology. The reason why there are, uh, there is a decrease in the number of research. Uh, during this time also, the research agenda of the department focused on health-related topics because most of our students want to pursue their career in medical school. So most of their titles are on health related. So that's, that's a problem until now. And in uh, 2011 to present, uh, again, there is an, an increase in the number of uh, biodiversity studies. Next, please. When it comes to the graduate uh, research work, there is an equal proportion on uh, biodiversity and health related topics, followed by ecology and agriculture related topics. Next please. And then for our faculty researches on plant diversity, we recorded uh, many research projects, but these are only the projects wherein they deposited collections in our herbarium. Most of the study did that uh, deposit their voucher collections in the herbarium. So these studies are funded by our institutional uh, research office and some we also uh, get funds from CHED and uh, GEC. So for the status of herbarium collections, we have up to the present, we acquired more than 3,000 herbarium collections, which is properly curated, identified. And out of that 50, out of that collections, uh, 50 percent of the collections came from faculty student researches and of course student projects. So, as uh, school offering uh, BS biology, uh, we require them to enroll in systematic botany. And part of the requirement or part of the course work is to submit herbarium specimen. So, herbarium specimen from field, field trips. So they are required to submit their volume specimen, which is uh, properly identified and properly labeled. And out of the 3,000 herbarium collections, 30% are endemic plants. Uh, these endemic plants uh, came from the research from the faculty members. And out of that uh, 3,000 collections, also 1,200 are entered in the database. So this is the our natural history collection. Uh, we have here the animal collections, and this is our herbarium. It is currently under renovation, our herbarium. 
Uh, this is the evolution of our herbarium. When I arrived, we have here the herbarium cabinet, and then uh, this was in 2005. We again changed the herbarium cabinet into this type of cabinets, and then at present, the herbarium. This is our herbarium, and this is our collections. This is Sir Mike Calarabo who visited our universities. He's supposed to be the first speaker. So I mentioned a while ago that 30% uh, of our collections are endemic species. So I have here some examples of our endemic species. So this is under family Arabiaceae, where Dr. Alejandro is studying right now. So we have here a new species, the Canapia monstrosa, Gularia, Uniflora, and Pamela. These were collected in Mount Spalai Palai, Mataas, Nagolo, and Dependency. Uh, since I am studying Araceae, I have here the Alamasia Ramosi. The type locality of Alamasia Ramosi is Mount Mahili. And we have also Vanilla Kalogusa in Mount Spalai Panay. And we have an endemic species in Passions Cavitiana, which is only found in Cavite. And most of my collections, different species, all are endemic. Alamasia was also deposited in the herbarium. Uh, we also have type specimens of new species of Alamasia in our herbarium. So for the future plans, uh, we want to register, since it is not yet registered in the index herbarium room, that would be our next plan. And then uh, we will also do digital imaging for ESRI retrieval and accessibility. And uh, in our research projects, we also collected live plants since we have a robust botanical garden. The live collections will later on part of the sub botanic gardens because we have uh, sub botanic gardens that will be launched next year in Pampanga. So most of our collections will be uh, deposited in sub botanic gardens. So for the conclusion, Plant diversity studies enrich the, the initiative herbarium collections. Uh, projects, particularly in systematic botany, will also be part of the collection. We also have services in the herbarium like identification and authentication. So most of the um, universities are near nearby. We encourage them to, to have their identification in our university. And Part of the requirement is, of course, they need to deposit their voucher in our herbarium so that would also uh, enrich our collection. That's all.